Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a video I've been meaning to make for quite some time. Ever since I got the bear grease in August of last year, one of the most frequently asked questions I get is if I could only choose one between the 2020 Surly ice cream truck and the 2021 salsa bear grease, which one would I pick? So I wanted to take the opportunity to objectively look at both these bikes and try to answer that question. I will go on record right up front and say after owning both these bikes for a considerable amount of time, I do love them both and I ride them both about the same amount of time. So it's not really weighted heavily towards one or the other as far as the amount of time I ride them. So let's just take a brief moment and review the specs of both these bikes. And I'm not gonna go too deep on the specs. I do have a number of videos uh, diving deep on the attributes of both these bikes. And I will link those down below if you really want in-depth information about each of these bikes uh, on the spec side. So the first obvious thing is they are both fat bikes. So they do compare favorably in a number of areas. They both do have the same hub spacing. So it's 150 millimeters wide in the front and 197 millimeters wide in the rear. Both are fully rigid front and back, and both do have a very similar build spec. And even the pricing for both is what I would say is in the same category. So the ice cream truck listed at $2,000 even, and the Bear Grease listed at $2,400. So both are in that $2,000 to $2,500 price range. So let's now take a moment to highlight some of the major differences. The first and most obvious difference between these two bikes is the frame material. The ice cream truck is a quality steel frame, whereas the Bear Grease is a high quality carbon fiber frame. And the other major noticeable difference between these two bikes is the wheel and tire size. The Bear Grease comes with 27.5 inch wheels and is wrapped in four inch wide tires. Whereas the ice cream truck has more traditional 26 inch fat bike wheels and comes with 4.8 inch wide tires. Both do have the same rim width of about 80 millimeters. But as a result of this combination, the ice cream truck does have significantly more tire volume. And if you want a deep dive in the impacts and wheel and tire size for fat bikes, I'll link a video I just did recently that compares and contrasts those differences and talks about all the variables. So let's focus on the Bear Grease for a moment uh, and talk about the advantages it has as they are many. One of the most obvious differences is it's about five pounds lighter than the ice cream truck, so it's a pretty significant difference. So as a result of this lighter weight and the less rolling resistance from the smaller tire volume, the Bear Grease is a significantly faster bike than the ice cream truck is. And for an example of that, I did recently do a head-to-head -head timed lap shootout between the Bear Grease and my carbon fiber Canyon Exceed, which is a hardtail 29er. And it was surprisingly close, so check that out if you're interested in seeing how this bike can really perform. Being a really stout carbon fiber frame with a really beefy bottom bracket area, the pedaling platform on this bike is outstanding. In fact, it's the best on any bike I've ever ridden. So when you're on a climb or you're really pushing it hard, it really transfers the power from your pedal strokes uh, to acceleration really efficiently. The braking performance on the Bear Grease is also significantly better than on the ice cream truck, and that's uh, even though it has a smaller front rotor. And due to the lighter weight and the super stiff frame, it does feel more nimble and maneuverable than the ice cream truck. And not a major factor, but lastly, being in all carbon frame, I do have less concerns about it as far as rust and corrosion goes, uh, considering I am riding it in the snow in the winter, uh, or if I do travel to more humid climates, it's not really something I have to worry about. So now let's shift gears and focus on the ice cream truck and talk about some of the advantages it has. So the one noticeable difference between these two bikes that is in the ice cream truck's favor is it does have a slightly more trail-oriented slacker geometry. It's not too drastic, but it is something of note. Probably the biggest difference in its favor is because of the much larger tire volume. It is much more comfortable and much more capable in the most extreme conditions, whether it be snow or big mountain, rocky terrain like that. And tying in with the tire size, uh, you do have more frame clearance in the rear and can run maximum size tires that you can run on any bike. And then the last thing talking about the steel frame is I do feel it's more impact resistant than the carbon. So for incidents where that's a factor, uh, I do feel much more comfortable with the ice cream truck if it does fall or get banged around uh, than with the carbon frame. So now I just want to discuss a few areas where I feel they're basically evenly matched. Both of these bikes do have a very similar amount of mounts for bike packing, though the Bear Grease does have the advantage of having a really cool mount on the top tube. And with the same hub size, front and rear, both bikes do have a very similar amount of options as far as different wheel and tire sizes. Though, as I did mention earlier, the ice cream truck does have a slight advantage as far as having the ability to run the biggest possible tires. And both bikes are equal in the capability that they both can run a dropper seat post and both can run a front suspension fork. So in conclusion, if I had to pick one, which one would it be? 
It seems like looking at it objectively, based on all the things I just listed, the Bear Grease has a significant advantage and would be the clear choice. And while it is very close, I would have to actually go with the Surly Ice Cream Truck. Even though the Bear Grease outperforms the Ice Cream Truck in a number of areas and pretty much equals it in all the rest, there's something not easily quantified that just makes me lean towards the Ice Cream Truck in this comparison. It just has that little extra fun factor that you can't really objectively quantify. And even though I do love the color and the frame design of the Salsa Bear Grease, there's something about the classic steel frame design and the color and the large tires on the ice cream truck that always draws my eye. And not really an influencing factor for me in this choice. One thing I do notice is anytime I ride the ice cream truck, other people are always drawn to the ice cream truck and asking questions about it, which is something that doesn't really happen with any of my other bikes. So I do think that also kind of demonstrates that it just has a little something special about it. I think the best analogy I can give is with 4x4 vehicles. Even though a modern 4x4 will pretty much outperform a classic 4x4 in basically every way, there's always something about a classic 4x4 that will always make it a highly desirable pick. And that's kind of the same vibe I have with these two bikes. So in wrapping up, here's how I'll say it. I think objectively, the Salsa Bear Grease is the better bike of the two, but if I had to pick one, the ice cream truck is the one I would choose. If you had to pick between these two bikes, which one would you choose? And tell me why in the comments below. I do have some significant changes coming to both these bikes really soon, which will further enhance the strengths of each one. If you want to see what those are and follow along, definitely subscribe to the channel. It does really help out the channel. It lets YouTube know that you want to see more fat bike content. So I hope this answers the question that I get all the time, and I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it. So thanks a lot and have a great day.